Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on providing solutions to some international test papers. Here we have picked up question number 14 from previous test paper of Cambridge International. It is Advanced Mathematics, June 2018 test paper. And this one is the last question of this test paper, extremely important. And I hope its solution will help many people globally. The question here is, a scientist is studying a population of mice on an island. The number of mice n in the population t months after the start of the study is modeled by the equation n equals to 900 over 3 plus 7e to the power of minus 0.25t, where t belongs to real numbers and is greater than or equal to 0. A. Find the number of mice in the population at the start of the study. B. Show that the rate of change of growth, show that the rate of growth, d n d t, is given by d n d t equals to n times 300 minus n over 1200. The rate of growth is maximum after t months. Find, according to the model, the value of t. According to the model, the maximum number of mice on the island is p, state the value of p. Right. So I'd like you to pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Now part one of this question is to find the number of mice in the population at the start of the study. That means when t equals to zero. So we could substitute t equals to zero here and find that answer, right? So we have n equals to 900 over 3 plus 7 e to the power of minus and when you substitute 0 you get 0 right. So anything to the power of 0 is 1 so what you get here is basically 900 divided by 3 plus 7 right. So we get n equals to 900 by 10 which is 90. So to start with, there are 90 mice. So the number n initial or starting right is with 90. Now part b is show that the rate of growth d and dt is given by this particular expression, right? So let's find the derivative of the given function. I'll take it on a fresh page, right? So now we need to show that the rate of growth d and dt is given by this particular expression. So let's find the derivative of the given function and then we'll write it in the given form. So I've copied this question on a fresh page to solve further. So the question now is the number of mice n in the population t months after the start of the study is n equals to all this and we need to show that d n d t is basically equal to n times 300 minus n over 1200 right so that is what we need to show correct so let's try to see how okay so n is given to us as equal to 900 over all this I can rewrite this as 900 times 3 plus 7 e to the power of uh, minus 0 0.25 t to the power of minus 1 so we get d n d t as equal to 900 times all this which is 3 plus 7 e to the power of minus 0 0.25 t to the power of minus 2 times the derivative of inside function which is 7 uh, the whole thing uh, which is we can write e to the power of minus 0 0.25 t times this which is minus 0 0.25 Okay, so that's what it is. So which we can write here as no, well negative one. This was negative. So negative one times all this to the power of negative two times this derivative. Now this minus and this minus becomes plus. You know, zero point two five is basically zero point two five is one over four. So we'll write this as one over four. 
correct? Okay. So what we get here is uh, minus and minus makes it positive. So we have in the numerator 900 and this term comes in the denominator. Uh, we have this term here which is 7 e to the power of minus 0 0.25 t right uh, times 1 over 4 okay so we'll write that 4 here right times 1 over 4 and all this is also in the denominator this term which is 3 plus 7 e to the power of minus 0 0.25 t whole square perfect so that is the derivative rate of change of the population of mice with time Correct. But we have to write in this form, which is n times all this. Well, to do that, we may have to work with our original equation a bit. So let's do that part. So what we are given here is that n is equal to 900 over original equation, 3 plus 7 e to the power of minus 0 0.25t. So we can just cross multiply. So we get 3 plus 7 e to the power of minus 0 0.25t is equal to 900 over n. So this portion here can be replaced by 900n, correct? So we get one term in n. Now we have replaced this also by something in n. Well, so this portion will be what? Let's rewrite. So we could also write this as 7e to the power of minus 0 0.25t equals to 900 by n minus 3. Correct? So that portion. Uh, so this portion here could be replaced by this term. Is that clear to you, right? So let's rearrange and write it down. So what we have here is 900 over 4. 7e to the power of this we are writing as 900 over n minus 3 okay and the denominator we are writing that as 900 over n whole square okay now it's a question of rearranging so we we get this as 900 over 4 n square we can take on the top right so we have 900 over n minus 3 times n square divided by 900 square. So we can cancel these 900s, right? So we get this as, so when you open this bracket, okay, so when you open this bracket here, you get one of these gets cancelled. Let's open this. So we have here, when you open this up, uh, okay, so we have 900 n minus 3 n square in the numerator divided by, right? So one of them gets cancelled, 3 n square, and denominator is 4 times 900. Correct. We want, we don't want uh, this. Uh, so we want 300. Let's take 3 common now. So we can take 3 common with n, okay. So 3n is common. So when you take 3n common, we get 300 minus n in the numerator and we get 4 times 900 in the denominator. So now it simplifies to, so 3 goes 3 times, so we get n times 300 minus n divided by 4 times 300, which is 1200. Right. So what we did was, we cancelled this 3 with this 300. And 4 times 300 is 1200. So we got n times 300 minus n. Perfect. So we have shown this part. So that becomes the rate of change of population of mice over time. Right. So that is dndt. So I hope that is clear. So let's continue with our question. Next part. Now let us solve part B and C in this fresh page. We have already shown that rate of change of number of mice is given as n times 300 minus n over 1200. Part B is the rate of growth is maximum after t months. Find the value of t. So we have to find the time when the rate of growth is maximum. 
So, so what we just found here was that d n d t rate of growth is basically equals to n times 300 minus n over 1200. Now this is like a parabola if you look at it. So when is this maximum? We need to find maximum right so basically if I sketch this I will get a graph which will be kind of like this for the rate of growth right and the number of miles so when the number of miles is 0 and this is 300 those are the two zeros and the maximum will be right in the middle so we get maximum rate of growth for n equals to 150 clear but we need to find t when we get the number of miles as 150 that is the whole idea right okay so the formula is n equals to all this so let's place this in the formula here so the formula here is n equals to 900 over 3 plus 7 e to the power of minus let me write t over 4 here so in this formula, if I replace n with 150, I get 150 equals to 900 over 3 plus 7 e to the power of minus t by 4. Uh, so let's cross multiply. So we get 3 plus 7 e to the power of minus t by 4 equals to 900 over 150, right? Which goes 6 times. Correct? Okay. So let's solve for t here. So we have 6 minus 3. So 7 e to the power of minus t by 4 equals to 6 minus 3. So we have e to the power of minus t by 4 equals to 3. And then we'll divide by 7. Now taking ln on both sides, we get minus t over 4 equals to ln 3 over 7. Correct? And so, so we get t as equals to minus 4 times ln 3 over 7. So let's calculate this value. So what we get here is uh, ln 3 divided by 7 equals 2. And we we'll multiply this by 4. So we get, we get, uh, and that is minus times that negative value will give us 3 point. 389 so I'll write this as 39 months is that clear to you right so that is how we could find this so we get t as equals to 3.39 months or 3.4 months we could have written okay now the last part of this question is to state the maximum number of mice so how do you find maximum number of mice Okay, now see, maximum number of mice is not the maximum rate of change. Remember that. Maximum occurs when the rate of change is zero, right? So, maximum number of mice will be at critical number. So, we have to write d and dt equals to zero, right? That is a critical number. So, in our case, we get two values. One is n equals to zero. The other value is n equals to 300 right now we know that uh, uh, the number of uh, mice cannot be zero right so at 300 let us find uh, the rate of change whether it is uh, increasing decreasing or what is going to happen okay so so at n equals to 300 if I take a value of the mice more than or less than 300 so we can test basically we need to check for maximum at n equals to 300 correct so so what we can do here is basically take a point on the left side and the right side of 300 right so 
Okay, let's do it here. So if I take a value which is let's say more than 300, so let's say this is 300, right? So we have a test point 301 and 299. Let us say, right? So in that case, the rate of change d and dt. If I take a value which is less than 300, then both are positive, correct? So the rate of growth will be positive, correct? So d and dt is positive. If I take 301, this becomes negative. So we do have a maximum at 300. Right? So therefore, maximum number of mice equals to 300. Is that clear to you, right? So that is 300. So that is how we are going to get this answer. So I hope all these steps are absolutely clear. We began with this particular formula, found rate of change to be matching with what was given to us. And then we also found the time when we get the maximum rate of change. And lastly, we got the number of maximum mice, which we did by analyzing the first derivative, that is rate of change of the mice. Hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thank you and all the best.